Welcome to Vlogmas, day 12. 12. 12. Did you know it, babe? I knew it. You did? Yeah. Oh, okay, she's on it. Well, welcome to Vlogmas. It's always hard to find the lighting because we're trying to get that ambiance slash, okay. Welcome to Vlogmas, day 12. Oh, sleep score 82, crushed it so good, but I kind of slept in. It's all good, the sleep is back, back than that other horrible mess than yesterday. Um, but today's vlog is special, the specialist. This is a special edition vlogmas. I'll even put a special jingle here. Do, 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 do. You've got yourself a Jenny arts and craft vlog. Woo! Well, I'll zoom in. Do, do. Woo! Woo! Come on! Woo, lesbian arts and crafts. You ask for it, you're gonna get it. So Jenny, last year, first, I didn't buy this light. First, last year, for those who don't know, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram or even TikTok, she put it on her TikTok. Follow us. Follow us all the time. Um, she made me a wreath, like forged everything and like made me a wreath. Um, here's the thing, and I cried. It was beautiful. I just can't believe she made that. She said it was super easy. I'm like, people pay good money, honey, for that. We might have like a huge business. We might be millionaires, but Jenny's gonna make one again, and she's gonna show you step to step how to make a homemade wreath with like literally stuff you find outside and what you should have around your house. So here it is, a Jenny arts and craft vlog. How to make a wreath. Okay, well, um, can you see? Is it lit up enough? Oh, we can see. Okay. It's lit. Bam, so, bam, bam. It's lit. There's a few ways that you can make wreaths. The, uh, this I thrifted from a thrift store. Okay. Wow, um, wow, okay. And Riveting. Riveting they, um, they, These are really common. They're just made out of like twigs that are wrapped around each other tightly. Okay. Um, and the nice thing about this style is that you can just kind of shove the greenery in the twig holes. Um, but I'll show you as I start kind of building. Um, you can also do a really simple Look how cute is her setup guys. wreath with gold wreath rings. So I'll show you both options. Where did you get these rings? These I would have gotten from a craft store. Okay, like yeah. Michael's? They're, I think they're called embroidery hoops. Okay. You can find them on Amazon too. Gold okay. embroidery rings. You'll, you'll see these come up. Okay, so when building a wreath, I like to have a couple different options. So these you actually saw us buy at Home Depot. Um, and then these I grabbed from our Christmas tree, just from cutting it from the bottom. These you saw, I found them on the ground under a tree. I found a bunch of trees, by the way. That had these, yeah, and they, then they had dropped them. And like you can see, there's a bunch of leaves stuck in them. Um, but basically this is going to give us our little hit of color that we're going to disperse around okay. the greenery. Because you want color. And then today while I was walking, I pulled these um, and they're going to be kind of like what we put as a the sort of focal point. Um, and then these are just little things I thrifted. They're like um, brassy ornament. Here's a sled. Um, babe, you gave me those for Christmas. Yeah, they, they, they were actually, so when I bought this wreath ring, when I thrifted it, it had a bunch of like faux oh. greenery on it. And I saved these from the wreath. Okay. So those are the materials. And then, oh, we'll whoa, ribbon. Just, and then we'll finish it off with a, like a bow. Wow. Jenny, do they need like a glue gun, a staple gun? What else? Nope. So you just, whoa, hide. you don't even need that. And you see, you just shove it in. Whoa. And we're gonna do that all the way around. I can't wait to use the uh, title and you just shove it in. Jenny yeah. teaches you how to shove it in. Yeah. It's great, babe. If you could give me like an O face, <laughs> that's great for the uh, Absolutely not. Perfect. <laughs> knew, you'd, knew you'd be down for that. Wow, look at you whisking that up so fast. You don't have to be perfect about it. Oh, okay. Because art is objective. Yeah, just go for it.
I do have wire. Oh. So if you wanted to at any point kind of secure it. Use wire. You could. Okay. Jenny, what did you just ask me? I said, can we keep watching Big Brother? <laughs> I've created a monster. Look at that. She whipped that up in like five minutes. Listen. So when I started dating Jenny, she'd never seen the show Big Brother. She like had no idea what it was. And now she's like the biggest fan. So we're slowly going through the old um, episodes. This is Big Brother Canada. So we've actually watched season 10, 9, 7, 6. And we're about to finish my season, which is three. So you've seen a lot. And now we're going through eight, even though eight doesn't really exist because of COVID, but we're just watching that because it's um, online. And then I think the next one I'll show her is probably one and two. And then we'll end with five because of the returning players, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> ornaments tonight um and some garland and then our popcorn which we might have to order or make more because we ate them all this spot but she put that in look how good the babe how do you figure out placement you just have to feel it okay so you just go in with confidence there's you know there's no one way the wreath is supposed to look so like just go with what you think looks nice wow that's that looks amazing i would not be able to do that now what are you whoa what you doing we gotta cut some leaves down oh god when too much is too much you just want to kind of fill it in so you don't see the wreath poking through okay um and you can always add more right okay our vision now Jenny so we're just gonna put this on the mantle oh like on it like lay it yeah right or or no we have it like this I don't know I think she's like you know what's gonna be so fun is next year we don't have to buy all these stupid lights and all that stuff because we'll just have a box and be like get our Christmas box lights out which is great this year we were just getting set up, which you guys were here for, which is exciting. And now she's, wow. She, she's just, you're, these are bows. You're just bowing. There she is. We just don't know where we're gonna hang her. Jenny made this beautiful bow. They're called bows, right? I don't know. I call them bows and Jenny's like, what are you talking about? So nice. That little detail. That's, that's my girl. And then this, I'll show you guys. You can see the little decorations. Like she made that, isn't that beautiful? And now we're doing the, if you remember from the last vlog, was the last vlog two vlogs ago? We um, cooked these. I'm like, what am I trying to say? We cooked these and now Jenny's just actually putting wire right into them. And these are going to be our ornaments. I don't think we're going to use the burned ones. Okay. Fair. So we did uh, lemons, limes, and oranges. We all buy some one. Christmas is a lot of work. It really is. I was thinking that today, or actually the other day when we were trying to do the tree. Yeah. Remember the tree kept falling? Yeah. And you and I were like, what 
and then we take this down in like 20 days <laughs> but it is nice and it smells really good but that is my one big thing where i'm always my brain is always like thinking of the end so i'm like why would we do that yeah you know or the cleanup. It's the same thing why I hate like eating. I just hate cooking. Because yeah. I think of the cleanup. And I'm like, if I don't cook or eat, I have to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna help you do this. You, should we put them on or do that another day? Let's put them on. We're here. Okay. We're queer. We're born with it. Baby, she's born with it. <laughs> Baby, it's Maybelline. Stockings on. Do I have to put the stockings on? Your favorite stocking, AKA the snowman one? Do we need him up? Maybe. Do I not get a stocking this year? <laughs> where, where are you putting my gifts? How many gifts do you have for me? I'm working on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you don't want them to be too tight to the branch like I just did. Oh, so what you just did is wrong. Babe, you actually want to do something like that. Exactly. You kind of want to make it look like a vagina. I saw it off our first tree. Um, obviously super even, you know me. Um, and now I want it be, to make it an ornament because it was from our first tree. But it's a bit heavy for an ornament. Well, Jenny, well get a really strong branch. Okay. Babe, don't take all of them from me. Should we put some bows on it too? Do you think? Yeah. Okay. Ta -da. <laughs> I love it. He was saying that she loves that there's no like plastic or anything that's like bad for the environment on there. I love it. It's really nice. Maybe we'll get one wood one to put up there. A wood one? What do you mean? Like a wooded ornament? Yeah. Or we'll go thrift them. <laughs> I love it. You're so talented. Show your masterpiece. She made that. Oh, you're so cute, Jen. That's gorgeous. We just gotta figure out where we want to put it. We yeah. need to get a hanger for it. Um, Jenny, oh. why don't you tell us uh, how you know this stuff? So you used to do a wreath workshop. Can I ask you a question? Um, you did plant. You did wreath workshops before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this isn't my first rodeo. Uh, <laughs> I, we can tell. You should tell them. I was like, Jenny, you should do it again. She used to do like workshops where she taught people how to make wreaths, right? It was like a four year tradition where I would go to a boutique hotel in Toronto and I'd bring all the supplies for like 20 to 30 participants and we would make wreaths. Um, it was really fun and difficult it. to get all those materials. Um, it was a lot of work to host that. Yeah, for 20 shops. to 30 people, that's nuts. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, I used to have a side hustle called Plant Baby, which is where my Instagram handle comes from, but it was, uh, you know, macrame plant hangers. I also taught that workshop. Um, I would sell plant accessories. I would go to flea markets and sell uh, all sorts of things related to plants, vintage planters, uh, plant hangers, and then like decor. Um, yeah, it's, it's taken me to doing floral design. Um, I've tried everything within this kind of realm. Um, Do you miss doing it though? I, I like teaching a lot. 
So maybe you could do the workshops again sometime. Yes. Or I said like, online. I was like, you yeah. could do it like a live thing. Anyway, a lot of people asked. I mean, we'll do a part two for questions with you because I had like over 50, 60 questions. And I only probably answered it. Like asked you like seven. Hmm. But they a lot of people were like, what's Jenny's career? How would... So that's like a long video. That's like a whole video on itself. But that's one of the things she's done. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jenny. Uh, watch a show. Um, I am... Putting, okay, update on the family. I think this was the first time actually for two days I got no donation, uh, like donations for the family, which is okay, it's slowing down. I'm gonna donate these. Uh, I'm gonna ask them if they're around or available in the next four to five days. I'll go to their house and drop off gifts if they can. And uh, so I have pretty much everything, I think, other than two or three things. And then I need to buy one family $200 to Superstore to get their groceries. Um, but yeah, all this stuff is coming in. Um, I picked these up today for the kids as well. These are like, um, just both kids seem to, they like to build things and make things. So I got these. Um, Connects. Uh, I got one of the kids, the eight-year-old, a puzzle, Spider-Man 3D. I thought that was pretty cool. One of the moms, she wanted this eyebrow thing. So lots of good stuff in here. Oh, did I show you the karaoke um, thing came in as well? One of the kids wanted like this wireless karaoke thing. Um, but yeah, so if you do want to donate, we have a vote three to four days. Links down below. Every little bit helps. I'm still buying stuff. Um, still, I'm sure I went over because I'm always crazy, but that's fine. But they're gonna have a great Christmas. Thank you to everyone who's made this possible. And um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Jenny, thanks for the vlog. The Jenny vlog. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, thank you guys for everything. Today was a little off day for me, so I'm grateful for you. I am waiting for my exam mark. And honestly, I have three days when this goes up. I think I'll have two days to get my mark in. And if it's not in a time, I don't go to my master's. And like, it's just frustrating. So today I was just like, I don't even know what I'm gonna vlog about. And God love Jenny. She's like, I'm gonna make my wreath and we're gonna do decorations. And she's like, dude, I wanna do that vlog. And I was like, okay, good. So thank God I had you. Cause I just, it's stressful because I'm in limbo and I'm like, I just want to know, did I pass my exam? Did I pass my mark? Am I going to my master's or not? And it's just like down to the wire. So it's a little stressful, but hopefully I'll have some good news for you, for you, me, myself, and everyone in the next two days, but fingers crossed. Okay, that's it. That's Vlogmas. Love you guys. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Jenny, for your knowledge and your love. Always. We love our tree. God bless us. Oh, oh, one second. <laughs> Clearly I'm just going to bed, but I thought I'd show you guys this. It's from my hat, wow. Um, so we're going to bed, kitchen's all clean. I cleaned the kitchen tonight. But of course she has to leave out this lime because she just, she has to let us know the fruit she had was a lime tonight and that's gonna stay out there.